Hello, welcome to Sushi and Beyond. I'm Sushi Girl and this is Miss Lily. Right now I'm going to show you what these items are. A lot of people will think that this is guacamole. I've seen people put this in their mouths. I love guacamole and then they cry, cry in wasabi tears because this is wasabi and it is powerful Japanese food. This is soy sauce. We'll show you how to use all these items later on. If you live in the county of Marshall, in the state of Indiana, and you have a, su a Sushi Jones, where are you going to go? You're going to come to Culver, Indiana, to the Lake House Grill, located right on the north side by the park of the lake there, uh, Max and Bucky, which we do not get our fish from. Just a side note. Now we're going to make something curry which is balls of rice with fish on top. You do not want your balls to be all tight. Nobody wants tight balls. Nice and kind of loose so they melt in your mouth. You want to think about the size of a champagne cork or a cork in a wine bottle. That's about as big as you want your balls to be. We're going to do some tuna and some salmon to hear it. Keep your knife clean, keep your board clean. On the gear, you always get a little smear of wasabi, the powerful Japanese voodoo. Smear that on there. Press it together. Voila! There it is. Right up your cheeks and thick it up. Okay, so we're ready to plate that. Now we're going to do our salmon nigiri. It's a nice angle of cuts. Put our spare wasabi on there. Now we're going to do some eel nigiri. Here's our piece of eel. You might see this uh, unagi on the sushi menu. That's what it is. It's eel. Just like grandma used to make. Now for eel nigiri, we actually want to warm this in a toaster oven. So we're going to put it on a nice heat proof plate. And we're going to pop it in our toaster oven for just a couple minutes. Then you want to use a knife to pick that up. Put it right on top of your tasty ball. Alright, so when you go to the sushi bar, they're going to give you wasabi, soy, and ginger. And a lot of people are going to want to take the wasabi and put it in the soy sauce and stir it around. And that is a no-no. You want to leave these items separately if you want to put any wasabi on your food. But you really should not need to. The sushi chef knows what you need and how things should be served. And they're going to put the right amount of wasabi on your nigiri. And they're going to know what you need. But if you need more than that, do it separate. Smear it on there separately. Don't do that. All right? And your ginger is to be eaten after each bite of whatever sushi you're eating. Not on top of your piece of California roll that you've mixed your wasabi into your soy and dipped it in. That's not how you do it. So now we're going to show you how to eat nigiri and how to not eat nigiri. 